Hello and welcome back here to the channel. For all you Rotary fans out there, that brap brap going on here at Killcare. That of Kyle Moez RX-8. This RX-8 was actually brought to me by a friend of mine that competes in VDC as well as ESDA. And this is a car he is testing on right now. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. So like I said, this car was brought to me by Nirvana. So we are taking a look at the Mazda Trix Mazda RX-8 here on a set of Corsa. But first, credit where credit is due here on this model. And that is credit for High Dimension and Alex Pen Pen uh, Flea Flea of if I pronounce that wrong, I do apologize. And Gobsy Gobs I can't even say it it's on the screen for you guys to see the rest of the modeling was done by himself and livery credit to blackout 77 i do apologize for butchering these people's names but it is really hard for me to get some of these people's names from out of the countries so we're going to be taking a look at here we are at the kill care us drift track we're going to go full send headphone users beware and you know we will be taking this car out to irwindale to end this episode off it sounds so good. I like the little uh, rattling of the shifter. Oh, the sequential moves too. All the little finite details. So let's go full send here in this RX-8. Run third gear. A little bit shallow on that zone. We are not running any type of tune. We're kind of on a base drive here. A little dirt drop, but nothing major. I feel like we need to do stay in third gear because I feel like if we go in fourth, the car will bog down because we know rotary life. Got to keep it up in the revs for rotaries. So we go another full run here in this car real quick and then we'll uh take a look at some replays possibly on this track i think i delete the ai so the replays won't look that great but you know we're gonna end this episode off in irwindale car is just so loud oh, and so much fun we're gonna run it again but of course we're gonna run it in that coveted first person much quieter at first oh god sorry i've wrecked your car already sorry kyle i didn't mean to put your car on the wall all right full send here in first person Seating position a little bit off for me. But it is kind of cool to hear it, this car. <laughs> so I think we're going to switch it to Irwindale and run some runs there. Take a look at some replays. So let's go switch to Irwindale and uh, take this car on the track. So FD Irwindale, always the place where we finish off testing of cars and spotlights and things of that nature. Looks like fourth gear is going to be the gear that we're going to want to be in for the banks here at Irwindale. So let's go and see if we can't get this rotary to echo off that wall with a nice wall ride. The 
the wall tap. We managed to save it though. Managed to keep the car totally not biffed into the wall. Definitely was a very interesting run. We will take a look at that from the replay angle. I think we're going to adjust the view just a little bit here before we go rip this bank here in first person. Stall the car out. Got to make sure we get out of gear. Let's move the seat position back some. And then move it up a little bit. Alright, let's save that and see if that helps us out a little bit. So, run here in in car view of Cow Mounds Mazda Trick Mazda RT. bit of a wall tap. Oh, I did not know if we were just running on the wall. I think we were just scraping through the wall that whole bank. So let's take a look at the replay of that. I think we were scraping through the wall. So this was the first run. First run was okay, a little bit of wavering on the bank, but we managed to work it up. We did wall tap a smidge there. Yeah. All right, just tearing through this course. This is where we wall tap hard, but managed to keep it from killing ourselves. Very curious about the wall ride on the second run. So this is the second run wall ride. Let's take a look at that. Let's get a big thank you, Nirvana, for the access to this car oh yeah we were in the wall we were dragging it the entire time that's why we had that wall tap where did we end up on this inner one were we dragging through it oh yeah we were pretty much wing through and there was the hard hit so I think we're gonna run one more run and see if we can't actually get a full pull to end this episode off so if you guys are enjoying this doer style of video, more of the in-car views for you guys because we know everybody loves the in-car views and obviously the driving is more immersive this way. I do have my neck effect kind of tuned how I really want it and how it looks very well. Going to be getting in some tandems, doing tandem testing and stuff like that in the S15. So one final run here for today's episode here in the Mazda RX-8. Oh, I knew we were going to about to hit the wall there. Failed a little bit because I could feel we were about to smack that wall. Ah, too much left foot break. Too much left foot break through there. So let's take a look at this because I felt, like I said, I felt like I was through the wall. But let's go back and take a look how that actually was. Because I backed off because I felt like we were just dragging through the wall. Oh, we were. We were definitely dragging through the wall. I had to back up a little bit and come off of the wall a smidge. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the response description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.